Hey, how's it going there guys? That's funny how we say how's it going. It's not like you're in front of me, right? But anyway, what's up? Elton McFall here, aka Retro Old School. Welcome back, or welcome if you're a new subscriber, you like this channel, you know, that's terrific. If not, well, you know, it's not for everybody. Anyway, uh, so I just uh, suddenly got the idea, as I uh, often get ideas to do things, I do them, you know, just spur a moment right away i was having a beer here while i was working on listing some vintage ads on ebay good old sleemans eh? mm. Mm. <sighs> honey brown one of my favorite beers so we're in my office here where things happen and things materialize whether it's uh yeah framing old magazine ads or preparing to ship them after being sold on mostly eBay and a bit on Kijiji, there's my old radio there, my old uh, 80s vintage there. Works fine, one of the speakers is a bit weak. Um, and uh, yeah, the tuning it would need to be cleaned because it has trouble staying in one of the stations. There's a couple of my paintings on the walls there, you can see. Almost all this stuff you see is for sale, I frame myself. Actually, let me just give you a quick view here because I'm always axed. To, uh, to try to sell this stuff. Look at this one. I framed this one recently. Beautiful 58 Cadillac. Beautiful Coupe de Ville ad. Classy ads. Look at that. You got a, this is a picture from a um, oh, some sort of exotic car book, I think. No, sorry. It was a Rolls Royce Bentley book. Yeah. It's a 1931. I think there's a 64 Lincoln ad. Yeah. There's a Buick ad that I colored by hand. Anyway, it goes on and on. Or those of you like Monte Carlos, here's a 75 Monte Carlo. That's an original photo that I uh, I had blown up years ago. So yeah, it's not going to go for peanuts, but I'll sell it reasonably because the frame it's in, uh, it's a nice aluminum frame, but it's got some scars there, battle scars. Anyway, uh, so uh, I got this idea, like I was trying to say, and I always ramble on and go off, because I guess because I'm bipolar or something, but uh, uh, to do... Uh, to do a video since the weather is crappy and we're in the fucking dead of winter here January 4th I figured uh, you've seen some of my car ads and I recently organized some of my truck ads for you to see uh, and uh, mind you what I'm going to show you is probably going to be in two parts I think and these are not all the ads that I have by the way uh, there's uh, there's more to this than that I mean I have a lot of them that aren't organized and there's of course some of them that are still in magazines that need to be taken out or removed. Look at this beautiful. I have many, 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 many vintage international truck ads. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. This is a KB model uh, from uh, 40s. I don't remember a year, 48, 47. Look at in the back, you got some beautiful ads here. Uh, this is a 45 and a lot of these ads I got through my friend. I give a shout out to my friend Ran uh, Randy down in uh, Kego Harbor, Michigan, who, uh, I've been trading uh, uh, car ads for, I don't know, a year, I guess, uh, over a year. And uh, he sent me a lot of these beautiful vintage ads, like this white ad here. I think this is a 49, white 3000. I think that was the first year for that. Look how gorgeous the illustrations were back then. You know, this is why, this is a big reason why these ads are very collectible. Look at this one here. This is a uh, uh, 39, I think. Look how absolutely stunning that is. Some of these I don't give a shit if I don't sell. They're so cool. Uh, too cool for school. And you know, I was look at this one. It's got and also this one's got a 1940 Pontiac ad in the back. By the way, if you're if you're watching this, I take PayPal payments. If you're whatever wherever in the world, if you're overseas, I charge seven bucks for shipping. If you're in Canada, the U.S. is three bucks. And if you're in Canada, also you can pay by uh, uh, Interact e-transfer. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and then we're continuing along here. More international ads. Look at this. This is, I think, uh, 60. There's an Emeryville next to a Metro Step van. Beautiful condition. Again, ad for my friend Randy. Uh, look at this one here. Again, that's a KB series. It's an armored truck advertising to buy war bonds. So this is uh, probably during World War II. I don't know what year this is. 42? Um... 45 yeah very nice you got the little statue of liberty torch there the statue of liberty which was a gift from france back in the day look at this beautiful speaking of 45 here's a 45 international and beautiful pickup truck 
There's this fall uh, scene here. This guy looks like a plumber, I think, eh? Home builder, look at that. Fantastic artwork, Abs outstanding. Outstanding. Um, I, I feel really, really lucky to have made him, not only as a connection to get these ads to do trades with him, but even to have him as a friend. He's a terrific guy. I mean, the guy is 64. I think he's my mom's age, and it's just, it, to me, the, 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 the boomers are really the best generation, probably as well as the older generations, but uh, uh, just, I don't know, I don't have a problem with them. You know, the guy calls like I call him, you know, it's it's an equal, you know, it's a two-way street as a great friendship, even though we've never met each other in person, but, you know, it's unfortunately not to knock the millennials again, but it drives me nuts. There's no, you know, God forbid, you can't call people. It's just, uh, it's too much to ask for. You know, got a text, got a chat. Here's another white ad, beautiful cab over 3000 once again, I think 5051. I need another light here, eh? I probably should put another light over here. Oh, uh, next time, I'm kind of lazy right now. Look at this one, another gorgeous ad. Again, probably 39, I think 40. Look at that. You know, I was telling Randy too recently, I said, man, you know, it, it, International had the most gorgeous ad, truck ads at, at that time, specifically 30s and 40s. And it almost as if it seems like like the executives at the company told their marketing department and said, you know what, man, you guys have carte blanche when it comes to, uh, you know, whatever it costs, use as much color as possible. We want the ads to pop. And, and that's what they did. And again, here we go again, 39, 40. Um, you know, and other ads just usually didn't compare. You know, even this one, look at this one only has two colors, but it's just, it's just stunning. You know, that's a KB series again, international, yeah, copyright, 1942. 1942, I mean, how, how common, you know, ads from these years are not necessarily as common because of the sacrifice that had to be made for the war effort for World War II, you know. Uh, okay, this one actually um, is a, uh, I think that's a Diamond Rio truck, but there's actually a, a page this size missing to that. Another international trunk, 40s. Here's a 60s international. Now it's funny, right away I think of, uh, yeah, Paul, I'm thinking of you, man. Paul Rudd down in, uh, in um, Christ, where the hell do you live again? Uh, Plattsburgh? Vermont, I think, yeah, Vermont. And he, he and his dad were working on one of these, restoring one, a 65, and I think this one is a 65. Look at that with the train in the background. Fuck, dude, this one is for you, man, totally. Shit, man. Oh, I, I mean, you know what? Since you're a friend, if you're interested in this guy, I'm gonna let you have this thing for two bucks. What the hell year is this thing? Yeah, sixty-five. See, it says right there. In the sense, what's on saying ain't that national? Look, you got diet right cola. Very cool. Very cool. And speaking of very cool, look at this beautiful bad boy here. 1961 international boy. This is almost all the international truck ads, eh? Hmm. Look how cool that is, man. Yeah, that is fantastic. Fantastic. Here's a 38. Actually, I have two of these ones. Lovely, lovely ad once again. I mean, you just uh, have to... You have to place things right when you move these because it's such old paper. It tears very easily. Look at that. Isn't that scrumptious? Isn't that just lovely? Look at this one. Check out how wild this is, eh? Look how Art Deco that is, man. Jack's Cookies. Crazy. I think I hear a, I think I hear a train out there. I don't know. Look at this. Saturday evening post cover. Woof. Yeah, she's rough, man. But what do you want? It's a fucking thing. Look at this. March 19, 1938. Old man kicking back almost asleep in an easy chair with a pipe. Yeah. Post depression years. All right, here we go. International again, but this I think is 78. International Scout A. Friends of my family, they had one like this. The guy was an adventurous type, you know. He was a hunter, you know. He had a boat, and oh man, I remember going for riding a boat. But what I like more was going for a ride in this baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what was it again? It was a 345 uh, V8. But it had a starting problem. Now this picture here, this is a picture from a National Geographic uh, 70s. Uh, this is this is not an ad, but I put it in here because it's a truck and look at this uh, Kenworth Kenworth trucking in Alaska W900 This these pages. I would just have to you know tape them together rear view mirror look for you know, it's just the beauty of winter 
kind of depressing at the same time like right now it's snowing like crazy outside look at this what the hell is this oh yeah this is in um nova scotia i think yeah big time storm they got there storm of the century back in uh, 01 i think yeah here's an 81 ford econoline ad Reminds you of that Neil Young song, eh? Whose fairy was a working man, he used to love that economy. And oddly enough, there's one, this same color, uh, in my neighborhood, and I went by to see if I could film it. It was an extended body. It was not there, unfortunately. A little beer? Okay. It reminds me of one of the guys, uh, YouTube friend, I guess you could say, fellow Montrealer, my friend Peter D. There, I want to meet him one day. You know, he, he starts off his video and he's like, he's like, drunken Pete reporting. Fuck. <laughs> he takes a swig at his beer. Look how cool that is. Beautiful Freightliner Classic XL 1998 tie rad. Very, very nice. Uh, this is a, a GMC Vandera. This is a French, uh, I guess it's priority messaging ad, priority messages. It's a French uh, version, Olympic, anyway, 1991. Uh, this is a 76 ad, I think. Look at that, nice Dodge Ambulance. Uh, fire truck. This one I would let go cheap, actually, because it's got some waves, light waves in it. It's in good shape, but, you know, again, not perfect. Again, here's something that's not an ad, but I love it. This is a kid's book I bought years ago, and it was about, uh, I think it was about trucks. And I taped these two pages together. Look how cool that is. Beautiful Pierce. Um, beautiful Pierce out of New Jersey, New Rochelle. I'm thinking of uh, Joseph uh, from uh, New Jersey. If you see this, buddy, well, you know, draw me a line there, and we'll work something out. There, you know, It'd be my pleasure to sell that to you, send it to you. This is from a trucking book from the early '80s. That is a Savium. That's a French make, port of Paris, I think. I don't remember. Here's an 81, uh, nice Ford pickup ad, very nice, very nice, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Again, I'm very reasonable with prices, like seriously, uh, uh, I'm not I'm not made of stone, you know. This is a snow removal operation in uh, Ottawa. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the hell book I got this out of. Anyway, it's nice, it's nice test, Western Star International in the back there. Here's a Canadian Loomis, uh, uh, a courier company ad, Kenworth, 1980s, French ad. Uh, this is a uh, Chevy Silverado ad. I think it's a 2001, 2002, three page. Again, these specifically, the newer stuff, I'd let it go cheap because it's not, it's, not, it's really not worth much, you know. It's, it's, it's not really old, it's not vintage, so, you know, make me an offer. This picture is from a book on the U.S., a French book, and I, I, I thought it was so cool because, look, you can see that rear view mirror just by the shape of it and the shape of the uh, uh, of the, the bottom of the, the base of the uh, window and the, the door panel that this is a GM car for sure. This could be anything, you know, Cutlass, Delta 88, 1980s, late 70s, and that, of course, is a white western star. This was uh, in uh, Atlanta, or near Atlanta, I think. There's another same ad again. Same ad. Yeah. Oh, well, you know what? This is March today is the anniversary when the ice storm started. And look at this, 20 years ago today, 1998, January 4th. That's when it started. And this was, uh, I don't know, probably a days or a week after. Yeah, camera has a uh, tendency to stop recording after a while. Uh, yeah, this was in Granby, uh, Quebec. And um, I think this was Connecticut Light and Power that came to... Uh, Hook power back up to a lot of uh, places that I got lost power, and, and that's that's something for another video in itself. Now, speaking of uh, uh, unsettled weather, uh, uh, this picture here comes from a book about Montreal uh, from the early 70s. You see a 65 Pontiac Parisian there and a snowstorm. It could be a blizzard, actually, and there's a Mac R series tanker there. I think for all I know, this might have actually been taken uh, right near here where I live in Oshelaga because a lot of tanker trucks rolled through here to go to the refineries. Uh, okay, here, this one is a page missing. This is a 1998 Peterbilt ad. Uh, I think it's a 377. If you know exactly what this is, tell me because truck models can be confusing at times. This is a picture I got from a, uh, I think this is a Canadian Business Week magazine. 
I remember we were in Ontario there. That's a white GMC Volvo there, and the car is a Nissan. Nissan. Oh yeah, check this out. Look at this 1998 Canadian Mack trucks engine, a diesel engine. Sweet, eh? Very nice, very nice. By the way, if you're in Montreal and you see anything you're interested, I can frame any of these things at a minimal charge, a reasonable price. You can come pick it up. Uh, if I know you're not going to fuck around with me, then I uh, will maybe, if you're depending where you are, I might go halfway and meet you to bring it, you know, whatever, I don't know. That's a 91 or 92 International at 4900 Nice. Oh, this is, um, I was thinking, I was hoping my friend Jorg, if, if you're watching this, uh, out in Germany, he was a garbage truck fanatic. He's, I think, he's the garbage truck fanatic in the world, probably the biggest fan. I thought, excuse me, I thought maybe he'd buy this. This is uh, from a 63 uh, French comic book. And uh, I thought it was really neat, especially since the pages are together. I don't have to tape them. I think I'd like to actually frame this one day. It's just, just beautiful old school cartoon art, you know, the old garbage truck. It's just really neat. See the cartoons there. Uh, this picture um, came from a 60s Life magazine. That's a white 3000 barreling down there. Just like the one that was used in one of my favorite scenes in one of my favorite movies, Maximum Overdrive. Here's a 1998 uh, Canadian Sterling Trucks ad. Dig it. Yeah, getting rare in this part of the world, these ones, uh, because of rust. Uh, I hate to admit, I do talk like Andrew, a.k.a. Corver of Wild. Here's a really nice uh, 78 GMC pickup ad. Very nice truck. Nice sexy red there, the dealer. Here's a 91 GMC Vandera luxury van conversion. Very cool, groovy stuff. Here's a, oh man, I don't even remember what year this is. I think this is 81. Yeah, Vivitar a camera lens with a Peterbilt 359. Here's another courier company. Out. Now, this is interesting. This is RPS. I think it's Rapid Parcel Service. This, I think, is a Grumman, but I'm not sure. It could be a Ford. I think it could be an international. But the funny thing is that FedEx bought those trucks when that company went out of business. And there still seems to be quite a few of them in service. I wish I knew how old they were. If anybody knows, please tell me. I'm always curious about that. French ad. This is like early 90s, like 91, 92. Uh, this, uh, this beautiful picture was taken to South America somewhere. That's a Volkswagen van or uh, Type 3. This one was made in the 90s. That's why it looks a little different, a little bit modernized. This comes from a book, a 1998 book about FedEx and the history. Very nice book. This, I don't remember what this is. I think it's a 68 Ford pickup ad. Yeah, this is smaller. You know, again, this is the kind of thing, you know, I don't care. It's not mint. You know, it's small. Give me a buck. It's yours. You know? Of course, if I, see, it's funny. Let me go back to this. If I was selling this on eBay, actually, I'd have to charge a lot more. Uh, well, not a lot more, but I have to charge more. I'd have to charge minimum two bucks because, you know, you look at the fees afterwards, like you're looking at a buck, a buck and a quarter, buck fifty, just in fees from eBay and PayPal. So you got to, you know, you got to think smart. Here's another one. Look at this. Here's another one. This uh, 67, I think, 69, sorry. Same, same thing, you know. Look at this beautiful Ford Bronco ad. I think this is 86, 87. <laughs> anyway, very nice, very nice. I like these trucks more than back when they were new or even later years. I just think they uh, age well. Look at this beautiful thing. 1998 International Eagle. Look at this huge sleeper it's got. Look at this guy. The guy can do anything in there. Have a coffee, sleep, jerk off, you know, drink his fucking eyes out. Anyway, I'm just trying to be funny. That's not working. This picture here, 68 to 72 GMC or Chev pickup uh, taken, uh, I don't know, somewhere in a good old US of A. Got the flag there. Good times. Rolling around the country. Look at the beautiful, uh, this is uh, 19, beautiful, 1988 uh, Chevrolet. Yeah, look at this. I just thought it was neat trucking department at a dealer and I don't know this guy looks like as a salesman looks pretty content sitting there comfortably probably dealing with a customer oh no problem there Bob no 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 I give you my word we're gonna give you that we're gonna give you that rust proofing for free like I said you don't have to worry about it just bring the truck back in there and uh, we'll take care of the holes and there'll be no charge here's a really nice ad I don't care if I don't sell it or not it's just so cool 
Uh, I think again, 81. I don't know why. I have a lot of ads from 81 for some reason. Uh, yeah, Ford uh, F600. And there's a Louisville L7000 there. And actually, that is an ad, yeah, for the, uh, in a second. Yeah, the 8.2 Detroit diesel fuel efficient, right? Okay, this is another ad, I think, from 81 or 80. Now, this is not for the truck, but I really like the truck they're showing there. Look at this. Uh, wait, what the hell did I do here? Huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this ad from a uh, funny a company called Dodge Phelps. And it seems to show like a 77 to 79 Chevy there. And it's just a nice, just a nice ad, you know. Oh, look at this. Hey, this is a total classic, man. Oh, boy. Dodge CNT. Yeah. I just got a frame today, actually. I just framed a 55 Ford ad. Canadian ad. Really nice. And I thought to myself, shit, you know, I should have looked a little harder. Maybe I should have framed this. Because this is really cool, too. I'm going to frame this one soon. I'm going to put that aside, actually. This is, uh, I don't know, mid-early 60s. Very nice. This is a... Um... Oh, you know, where the hell is the inner page of this? Oh, fuck. Well, you know what? Well, uh, anyway, whatever. I'll just tell you it's Australian. Okay, so this is it. I think I'm going to stop here because it's really getting too long. I don't like videos that are too long, so I'm going to finish with this ad right here. Which I think is a 62 or 63 GMC. I think this is for the water cooled V6 ad, eh? Yeah, the 305 EV6 engine. I like how they show the piston there, and you got your. Illustration is different model. I gotta stop anyway too because the camera is really hot now. Yeah, really hot now. Anyway, guys, so I hope you liked it, and uh, you can see there's uh, quite a bit more here to do. Let's see, let me just see how much I cover here. We'll cover quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Let me just stop and see how I'm doing on the time on this thing. What I'm going to do is just a few more boys and girls because uh, totally, we're just over 20 minutes. I just noticed, shit, I just noticed that little tear there. See, when you have vintage ads, this is something you can encounter easily that happens easily with them. Is This this is where they tear the most, the corners right here. Little corners tear and then they, they tear just a little bit and then the corner is gone because the paper's so old, it's so thin. Look at this here. It's a pretty unusual but still cool 68 uh, GMC pick up hey again by the way I can't stress this enough if you own one of these or you had one of these or your dad had one of these or your sister had one of these or brother or whatever or you worked with one whatever the truck is you see you know don't hesitate to make me an offer uh, I'm not made of stone in the worst case scenario I say no or I'll make a counter offer I do this on eBay all the time now and it's no problem I'm Gloria you want to see meow meow how's my kitty Gloria's jealous because I'm talking to you Thinks I'm talking to the camera. Meow. Where are you? Meow. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, moving along here. Like I said, I'm going to do a few more because I don't even think I got to half the pile. So I'm going to do a little more. Oh, this one is amazing. I, you know what? I used to have this one framed even. This is fucking incredible. I mean, this ad is just amazing. I'm just trying to get you a clear view without a shadow. 1958 international trucks uh what is this one a v2000 or something i think i don't remember uh anyway it's a look okay, at it's a tanker truck you know similar type trailer as the one in the movie duel look at the huge size of those wheels then you got all the different models here you know dump truck steak bed look at this one the side liner you know how rare this truck must be you had look at the windows you had just below the windshield i mean there's I don't think there was any other truck that was made like that. This is an awesome ad. The school bus, the semis, dump truck, and it's all there. It's amazing. You know? Uh, this is an ad, I think, from 67 or 68. Yeah, American Roulette. This is the, uh, uh, implying the dangers of people, uh, you know, passing on curves. Very dangerous to do that. And there's a nice GMC cab over Speaking of GMC cab overs, here's what's known as a cracker box, is a slang for that, because it was so uh, uh, narrow and angular, and they came out in 59, hence the year this had. You got this beautiful model here, very nice. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do a couple more. Here's a really nice 61 Ford Econoline ad. Uh, uh, 
first year for this. This one would sell cheap, actually, for two reasons. Number one, it's a black and white ad. Black and white ads don't sell as well. And secondly, I've been trying to sell this fucking thing, I think, two, three years now, and it doesn't sell. So when something don't sell, you, you know, you'll take what you can get for it, as long as it's a reasonable I'm not going to sell it for a dollar, but I don't know. I'd sell it for uh, three bucks, you know. Look how cool this is. This is a GMC step van. It's a bookmobile. Uh, it was made into a bookmobile, uh, I think, Four people in uh, Virginia, some Virginians there, back in the late 50s. Beautiful 66 GMC pickup. Real nice. Oh, don't, oh, by the way, you Ford guys, don't worry. I got I got a bunch of Ford ads coming up here. If it's not in this part, it'll be the next one. I'm going to finish with this one because it's dynamite. 1964 Chevy trucks. Look at that. You got pickup trucks. You got a cab over it. You got dump trucks. You got a cube straight body. You got the step van. You got a fucking football field illustration. You have also a Corvan that is a Corvair. You also have the uh, Suburban in the back. I think that might have been the first year for that. Steak body. Really cool stuff. So that's it, guys. I hope you really liked it. Gloria, what do you think? Psst. What do you think? You want to say goodbye? You want to say goodbye? You know? <laughs> Who's a good kitty? Who's a good pussy cat? You got a big tail? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Such a good pussy cat. Probably wants to go to bed. Anyway, okay, guys, so take care. I hope you liked it. And if you didn't, well, that's too bad. <laughs>